Super Tribe, what's good? This is gonna be a real quick video, man. I need, I need your help, guys. I need your help. In every YouTuber's career, comes a time they have to ask for some help. Now, guys, don't trip. I don't want you guys unsubscribing. I'm not finna ask to borrow your car or to stay at your house for two, three months or, you know, pay my, my rent or anything like that. Although, would you? If I... Anyway, have you guys heard the, the term, it takes a village? Little G comes out his room, excited, asking me if I had an old credit card. Apparently, one of his friends told him that... If he gets himself an old credit card, an expired credit card, that they could order any and everything that they want for free. So I need you guys to send me in your uh, expired credit card. Don't play with me. That's a joke. So anyway, I had to go in here and let him know that, bruh, this is a scam. You know, this makes you a, a, a scammer. This makes you a criminal. And this is something that you cannot be doing. Hey, what's up? What's up? Uh, when you get back? A little while ago? Babe. What? We're going to have to have a talk with Lil G. What happened? He just came in here asking about a, a credit card. Okay. Okay, but it's not like what you're thinking, like just a regular credit card. A gift card, right? Nah. He, yeah, he'll take that too. Apparently, one of his friends told him of a way that he can get, uh, if he had an expired credit card, yeah. that um, they could go online and purchase stuff for free. No, they cannot. That sounds like fraud. But the thing is, is that we got a 15 year old kid in there right don't now. Know, don't understand. He's been looking around the house for expired credit cards. What? Yeah. What? Oh! oh my God. What the heck? Bruh. Hey. You weirding out right now. That's your dad. That's your, that's your stuff. You bought that. And now you got him walking around here with this crap on. Just take Freaking the mask off, please. Come on. Take, take, the, take, take that the off. Mask off. Take it off. You can't walk around like that. And turn that damn music off, bro. Bro, turn turn the music off. Come back in here, man. And put that mask up. God, it's that damn rap music. Alright, what was this? Oh, bro. completely. Peace. All right. What is it that you was telling me about this damn? So he's gonna give me like the information, and then supposedly this guy be hacking stuff, and then he said that um, that he was gonna do something, and then um, and I would just put up a whole we just uh, put up a whole bunch of clothes, or like uh, put all these clothes in like our checkout thing, so it might work. He said he's gonna glitch it. Do. That is a crime that you can go to jail for. It's called credit card fraud. You can go to prison at 15 for credit card fraud. Your felony, if it goes on your record, will stay with you for the rest of your life and you will but not be not able to me. find good employment. It doesn't matter. Neither of you, us are hacking. Okay, so where the stuff gonna go? Here, if the guy's actually- Yeah, duh. I don't know it goes this your guy. Address. I don't know this guy. But you accepted it, so you're at fault. There's nothing to accept. If it comes to this house, they're gonna track your IP address on your computer, she doesn't and they're gonna arrest what you. I'm saying. I do Bruh. understand what you're saying. This guy, nobody knows who he is. Doesn't matter. He has a, a TikTok. Nigga, what? Oh my God. Our nobody knows who he is. But if you're receiving merchandise from this guy at your home address, you accept it, you didn't reject it, you're going to be held just as liable as the person who did it. Well, but it's actually, like a federal you, offense. You, you actually, will go to jail. You're actually stealing. If, yes. Think about it's this. It's not stealing. Bruh, because think you're of, actually... Bruh, think about this. Just think about this. Think about this. If something shows up to the house, because they're going to send it here to the house because 
You told them to send it to the house. They're gonna be like, how you pay for So it? they're finna arrest 100,000 people. Whoever was involved. Millions of people. They will. Cap. <laughs> well, I'm not gonna arrest a million dude, people. I Listen, we're using a credit card. This guy's gonna make everything free on there, so it's like we're buying it. It's theft. Sean. See, do you understand that? No, I don't. It's theft. He's gonna make everything free on there. Use some canteen money in jail when we come visit. Come have a seat, man. So what are they gonna what are they gonna do when you put in your credit card info, expired card, and let me go get my card. Cause I got an expired card. You do? Yeah. That you don't use? It's expired. I can't use it. Yes. Cause I bought a whole. I put a whole bunch of stuff in my cart. Tell me whose name that is that's on the expired card. Yours. Okay. So the the card is my card. So when they get this order that doesn't that no one pays for who they're gonna call up and ask for their money because i'm just saying i'm just saying i'm just saying who they gonna call up and ask for their money that you don't no understand. no 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 he's I'm gonna just, make all on, the man. stuff free Listen, i understand so it's like you paid for it bro then why do he need my card if it's free i don't know because and, and, and let me ask you this right here let me ask you this right here even though the, the hacker makes it free to you. Remember, they got people that work there that they pay wages, actual money to make the clothes or make the stuff. They got uh, bills, light bills, and they have business expenses, right? They have a building, people with families and stuff like that, right? Is it free to them? They're probably gonna just. No, 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 no. My question, my question, my I question. I don't know what you mean. Is it free to them? Because it's free to you when you get it, but is it free to them? You have to be real now. I don't know. Do those people work for free? Are they slaves? They work for money. Huh? They work for money. Oh, so it's not free. Okay. So now, on their website, there's a price attached to it. Is that correct? When it comes to my house and those people ain't got their money and they see a card, what it, whose name did you say is going to be on the credit card? Not mine. What? So you okay with them sweating me? They're going to contact some people about their money. Bro, what you doing is a scam. It's not a scam. And uh, you could go to jail for it for a long time. Yeah. You'll be in jail for a long time. Nothing that I could do about it. This is called a scam. And uh, scams are punishable by uh, imprisonment because, you, like I said, you're going to jail. And how they trace you back with a scam is so easy, bro. If I do anything on this computer here, it's going to show that I did it from this computer. When you do stuff from your cell phone, it comes back that, that it was your cell phone. If you use a credit card, the credit card shows that it's your credit card. I'm saying all of this stuff just to help you out so you'll know that it's a scam. And when all of this is said and done, there are people that have to pay for this. Yeah. Anything that's free, someone has to pay for it. Whether it's a company, whether it's the employees in this other country that are poor, they don't even eat but one, two times a month so that you can have your free stuff. All right, so I don't even think about you being that kind of guy. You have to do the right thing. So go empty your carts. You're going to miss out on the scam. And you need to go do it fast before they see all your carts loaded up and they know that you are one of the ones waiting. My advice to you is don't go bouncing it off to other 15 year old friends. Go erase that cart fast before you be uh, going to J-A-I-L. Fast, bro. Fast.